Perry Johnston, the man accused of hitting a man with his car and leaving the scene, is found guilty Friday on several charges, including reckless homicide and obstructing justice. 23 News reporter Sydney Stoffregan talks to the victim's family, who say they are relieved the nightmare is finally over. After fleeing the 2016 crime scene, Johnston admitted to police he hit 37-year-old Willie James White in the area of Trainer Road and Fincham Drive. White's family say the guilty verdict means peace for their loved one is on the horizon. Today it was finally justice served. And now the family of 37-year-old Willie James White say they can rest easy knowing his killer is safely behind bars. In March of 2016, White was struck by then 63-year-old Perry Johnston, who was using his cell phone while driving before leaving White in the street. No mother wants to ever have a phone call like that. No one should ever go through that. Willie's mother, Ada, remembers her only son is a man not without struggles, but a natural-born athlete and loving father. She says religion got her through the worst days of her life. Never give up hope. Keep the story alive. Keep the light on your loved one. Don't let him just be another victim. Willie's sister Renee compares the guilty verdict to the feeling of Christmas morning. She says with Johnston behind bars, her life can finally begin again. Who stays free walking around for eight years. So it's it's like, you know, we've been in jail. I feel yeah. like I've been in jail for eight years and I can finally breathe. Willie's younger sister, Nicole Turner, visited Willie's grave after the verdict was read. She says after eight long years, she had to let her brother know they had finally won. Being able to, to move on with our lives yeah. finally, you know? Yeah. So I, I can, you know, just focus on being happy. White's family hopes he is remembered for his bright personality and loving spirit. A memorial in his honor remains on Fincham Drive for those wishing to pay their respects. Thank you, Sydney. And Johnston faces nearly 30 years in prison. He's expected back in court June 13th.